Oh yeah, we are rocking hard at the uh, Sacramento Esports Stadium, guys. I'm Doa, that is Monte Cristo. Today, it's the second round of the 2016 League of Legends World Championships in Gauntlet. Not gonna happen this time, but perhaps Africa can do it. I don't think so, but maybe. I don't think so, too. Well, the, the fact we'll is, see. though, Africa is the least predictable team we have in this league. Are they going to beat SK Telecom? Are they going to lose to the worst team in the league? You never know on any given day with Africa. I have to mention I was going to say more after that sentence where I said, I don't think so too, but you started talking right away, so it just made <laughs> me sound really mean. But no, I don't think so too. But I'm the mean like, one, like Noah. Stop said, taking my thing. I'm sorry. It's been a while. I, I wanted to see how the other half lived. Feel the nerves a little bit the other day, but he was able to conquer that. That fan saying something to her mom, but I couldn't yep. read it fast enough. I'm sure it was, Mom, I know you love eSports so much. Thank you for letting me come and watch this match. Thanks for buying me the tickets. That's right, right. yep, because good parents send their kids to eSports events because you'll learn something, you know? You'll have fun. You'll get smarter. That's right. Think critically and analytically about the game. It's a beautiful thing. You'll come back a better person. It's science. Uh, didn't give the same level of performance that we've typically seen. Nice denial there with the Glacial Path. Such a cool Asandra skin. I like that one. Well done. Skin people. Skin people will also be the name of my cosmetics brand someday. Skin people? Skin people. It does sound, well, that sounds, uh, well, when you say it like Maybe that, it disturbing. Like skin people. <laughs> skin people. Someone's going to play that back and be like, Doa told me to skin people. No, that's not what I meant. I think your tagline for skin people, Doa, should be, you'll have skin so nice, people will want to make leather out of you. Skin you'll want to wear. <laughs> there you go. That's a... <laughs> skin people. Have skin someone else will want to wear. <laughs> Disturbing, Doa. Disturbing. Uh, slightly. Slightly. I watched Silence of the Lambs on the plane the other day. You were inspired, Buffalo Bill. There you go, yeah. He really, he really had a good business on his hands there. Coincidentally, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings, so the combination of the two. He just got skins on the mind. Oh, crown get. Yeah, it looks like nobody actually, no one of the refs are actually talking to the players right now. Yeah. Looks like it is an issue with Rulers BC. I'm looking in the booth right now. All right. Hopefully this will be resolved quickly. Or not. Looking at Ruler again, he was moving stuff. He has a Dignitas mouse pad apparently, even though it was Core JJ who was on Dignitas. Well, I mean, clearly Core JJ, you know, just kind of saying, hey, I've brought wonderful gifts back from the land across the sea. Mouse pads. I've, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard some no, things about Dignitas I, mouse pads? I have actually. In fact, I have heard some things about Dignitas and mouse pads. <laughs> maybe, I know, maybe I know why he brought some mouse pads back Yeah, with him. maybe you do. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I've heard they're the form, memes. Of, form of currency <laughs> in some places. <laughs> I'd be careful about talking about those Dignitas mouse uh -huh. pads, Doa. I know, right? Uh, if you talk about the Dignitas mouse pads, <laughs> Riot will suspend you. So be careful. Hey, well. Still better off than you, so, uh, so I'm, I'm in good shape. It's fine. That's very true. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, we each, so uh, ruler blinking out of control with that mouse pad, basically. <laughs> Rolling in the dough. <laughs> From Wraith. Bit of a surprise. Oh, freaks the Titan Slayer. I love it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Nice calligraphy. Yeah. Of course, Samsung. Nice, nicely signed by the team. Samsung has some really hardcore fans. Yeah, they do. They they brought us uh, rice cakes today yeah, with the players' names on them. I ate the ambition one to try to gain his power. Is that is that why they're losing, Doa? Did you take Did his I? power? Well, you've got a couple ones that say ambition on it too. So clearly, there's some power left over. Are you consuming his power? Yep, Doa. And, uh, maybe trying. Right, Sanya and Snowfall are going to walk in here, disrupt the. Attempt on the crux. Uh oh! Oh, that's dangerous. All right. Well, good thing he put a ward down there instead of his body. That's what you do, Doa. That's the secret of League of Legends. Put a ward down. <laughs> put a ward on it. So many people want to use their body instead of a ward to check a rush, though. It's not a great idea. Let's ask him, Tony. 
Hachani learned from his mistakes. He's not, he's, he's not hachani so he's much done, anymore. He's done much better, but the legend remains. The meme will never go away. Not as long as I'm alive to perpetuate it. Well, though, even if you weren't alive, people die, but memes don't. That's true. Memes are forever. I think I saw that in a jewelry commercial once. <laughs> <laughs> he went to fortune. Memes are forever. <laughs> wow, that is uh, that is a dark commercial. A my favorite bit. my favorite <laughs> thing about the whole Harambe incident was like the Cincinnati <laughs> Zoo uh -huh. tweeting, like, please stop memeing Harambe. I was like, when does it ever work to tell the internet Seriously. to stop memeing? That's that just makes more memes. That is literally just telling the internet to meme harder. <laughs> Please don't meme is meme harder in internet speech. Come on, it's not like Karambi wouldn't be proud to know he's being remembered just so fondly. We can keep him alive, but Iksu up here is doing dirty things to QV. He's really starting Whoa. to get out to a nice CS advantage. I got I got dark real quick there. That's right. That's what pirates do, man. <laughs> That's true. They get I, dirty. I really can't agree, I can't uh, disagree with that. That's why you don't let them in your port, Doa. Nobody wants pirates in their port. <laughs> That's right. As they say. I believe uh, keep the pirates out of your port was uh, <laughs> was a pretty popular saying back in back in the old pirating days. According to my history classes in school. Also a, u a useful euphemism. So. Yeah, that's right. It's it doubles it's down. A great use of euphemism. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak English. It's keep, okay. keep the pirates out of your port. No pirates in the port, man. Insert poop deck comment here. <laughs> it's too easy. It's low hanging fruit or uh, oranges in the case. Case? Specific, a specific kind of low hanging fruit. Yeah, that's right. I mean, does it have to be oranges? No, it could be any citrus fruit. You just need that vitamin C to prevent yourself from getting scurvy. So, uh, like what? That's why they called the British limey. Because they had barrels of limes on their boats. That's, why, that's where that term came from. Really? Yeah, with the British Navy. That makes sense. That was the wrong fruit to have, man. Limes do not taste good if you eat them on their own. Well, Doa, do you know where gin and tonics came from with lime? <laughs> oh, all right. All right, I like where this is going. Right, so... Oh, here comes two shot barrage. Oh, did he get it? He yeah, got, got it. it. Nice job. Nice. Yeah. As they say. Yep. As I say. So, yeah, that's the story, Doug. Because back back in the day, so let's you know, in the in the 18th and 19th century, gin was considered uh, very like the poor person's drink. It was a oh. in London, it was uh, not what the upper classes drank. It was cheap to make and. There, were, there was a lot of fear, actually, in England at the time. As we were to watch this, I'm going to tell stories about Jin instead. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I, I like your Jin stories. I mean, we know Kube's not going to die anyway. So, so basically, uh, it was cheap, and yeah. there was a lot of you know, worries, especially in the 19th century, that there was going to be some sort of, like, the lower classes were drinking themselves to death on Jin and all of this. So, yeah, that happens. Uh, but in the naval days... Yeah, they'd have rum or gin on the boat because you have to keep the sailors drunk, otherwise they get unhappy. <laughs> it's just Naturally, truth, yeah. truth of the world right there. Sure. Grog rations are extremely important to making sure there aren't mutinies. And there really is nothing. Life pro tips. Well, it's true. There's nothing to do on a ship when you're on it for three months besides get drunk. What about learn sleight of hand magic tricks? Well, that I'm takes sure, a long time. I'm sure they did that too, though. They were probably really bored most of the time. Yeah, he, the, the dude with the top hat. You pull, I don't know, potatoes out of your hat, whatever uh, whatever food ration you have a lot of. Or the seagulls, maybe, instead of a pigeon. Or an albatross. That'd nope, be really nope. impressive. No, do not pull yeah. albatrosses out of your hat. That is a bad idea. <laughs> like, I've got this great magic trick. Yeah, oh, that, that's how you, the spider leg. That's, that's how you get thrown over. Though, say, you don't want to pull an albatross out of your hat. If you're I mean, if it's still alive, it's okay. But if it's dead, sure, that's bad. Ill, Ill omen. So, my story about gin and tonic, we're yeah. going to get there. Okay. So, quinine, which is in tonic water, not is an anti-malarial. Yeah. So, basically, gin and tonics with lime were designed to prevent scurvy and to prevent malaria and get you drunk at the same time. That's brilliant. It's, it's the perfect cocktail for a sailor. And, you know, the thing is, is that G&Ts are still the... Uh, the drink of college students everywhere. So well, it's still it's, is they're a great drink. drink of the masses. They're a great drink. 
They're yeah. a great drink. They're a drink of everybody. Everybody's right. favorite summer drink along with mint juleps. So next time you go out to the bar, instead of doing your homework, you just say, I'm preventing malaria. And scurvy. Weaver's wall and scurvy. And that's the end of my story okay. about gin and tonic and limes. It's a great story. Pirates. I feel like uh, we've all learned a lot again. And that's, so, well, to Ooh, bring it full, full circle, that's why the British are called limey sometimes. Because they have the limes to make gin and tonics to stay safe and happy aboard their strong, powerful naval ships. That's right. Okay, I'll tell you one more story about gin. You okay, ready? I'm ready. It's a short sure. one. You know my favorite <laughs> nickname for gin? What? Blue Ruin. Blue Ruin? Yeah, that's what the they, they called it when they thought it was corrupting society. Wow. That's awesome. Is it really blue? No, it's not really blue. It's not really blue. Some of it's kind of blue. I don't remember blue why ball. they called it blue. I'll look it up later. Samsung getting... So if gin and tonics were made to fight malaria and uh, you know, scurvy and all that with vitamin C, what about screwdrivers? What about vodka and orange juice? Could but, you but could do rum and orange there's juice. There's no quinine in that. I suppose. Yes. But there is vitamin C. Yes. So that's, that's an anti-scurvy, but not an anti-malaria. No. Well, we try. I, you, have, you have to squeeze a lot of oranges to get that. Hook does not hit court. I feel like they should just change gang planks. Uh, remove scurvy to just something called cure all. It's just a picture of a gin and tonic now. That's right. Yeah. Caribbean medicine. That's what they'll call it. I could see. Uh, I could see Gangplank tipping back a few gin teas. I know he likes rum, but yeah, G and teas are definitely better for him if he's if he's engaging in piracy in malarial zones. It's, it's for the health conscious drinking pirate. <laughs> you know. He's, and clearly, he's very worried about his health. I mean, he's already lost one leg, right? So uh. he's, he's got to watch out. <laughs> Wait, does Gangplank have a peg leg? No. Weaver's Wall comes down. I'm new to this game. <laughs> I know... I know the Toy Soldier Gangplank doesn't have a peg leg. I don't remember. I don't. We never see the traditional gangplank skin, so I actually don't True. know. I feel like he should, but now that I say that, I don't think he does. I mean, so it looks like he at least has two peg legs, but that's different. Mickey with a hook. And now, I mean, if Rico low enough, I don't know, do you think they can really go for it? It seems a bit dangerous. Nope. Nope, not now. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mission gets hooked. Don't go anywhere. I really mean it. Dear me, Ruler has the vapors. <laughs> oh, my stars. <laughs> we'll be back. The game number two, or three rather, whatever. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Next game. Well, uh, Core JJ's gonna stick it in there. And stick it. Oh, that's oh, a wow. stick in there. No, no. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. Well, well, he, he uh, did. He stuck, those, he stuck those tempered baits in there. He certainly, certainly did. You said that. That's on the God, internet forever now. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet duh. stick in there. Well, <laughs> mistakes were made, duh. <laughs> Slips of the tongue. <laughs> well, uh, you know what uh, What Court JJ does um, in games is his business. We're just here to watch and critique. Well, so I think it was a, I think it was an accurate display of his <laughs> uh, accurate metaphor for what he did to Africa in that last game. Wow. It was a bit lurid. You know, you're just rolling with it now, and I respect that. Thanks. So. Uh, why not just go when, with it? When you make a mistake, you got to double down on it. Uh, <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. I have learned that from other uh, personalities in the League of Legends world <laughs> recently, actually. That's, that's true. Yep. That's right. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's how it works in esports. I've learned this. Well, luckily for you, we're into picks and bands for game number three between uh, Samsung and Africa Freaks. We can move on. We can move on. We can see uh, what Core JJ sticks it in next. Let's see uh, where he puts it. <laughs> It being his yeah. great. <laughs> I'm takes, a, takes a lot of effort to throw that boomerang, dog. Well, see, it's it's like uh, in tennis when you go whenever you hit the ball. It's just about the torque, you know. You need. I was told. Vocal torque. I was told that you need to make that sound if you're playing tennis. You want to hit the ball hard. It's about the. Muscles or something in your core. Not your core JJ. Regular core. Core JJ doesn't have a lot of muscles, I don't think. Brom does, though. He's a muscly dude.
Bye. Down to the toilet with you, Sahu. <laughs> I guess so. He's been flushed. Into the space toilet. <laughs> space toilet, Barris, is that the name of the skin? I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. I think it is. Sadly, toilets don't work in space, Toa. Well, space toilets work in space. Not like that. <laughs> they're made to. They're made to work in space. Maybe, maybe someday, Doa, they'll invent a space toilet with a micro black hole that would actually work. Maybe. I mean, unfortunately, you cannot flush things in space. Zero gravity doesn't work that way. And if you send that stuff through a black hole, I mean, yeah, it's out of our universe, maybe. But where does it end up? Somebody's going to be pretty unhappy on the other side. Who cares about what happens in other dimensions, Noah? I don't. I'm going to fill it with poop. See? That's just the attitude people had towards our ocean. <laughs> it was like another dimension for a long time. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to need those other dimensions, Noah. <laughs> That's a problem for my great, 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 great grandchildren. Exactly. Yeah, that's what all those cavemen said when they dumped all the plastic into our ocean. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But Tom Kench ate a spider with a bomb on it. If, if, if I could think of things least appealing to eat in the entire universe, a spider with a bomb on it is probably one of the things I would never want to put in my mouth. Well, Tom Kench is a catfish, so I assume he likes eating bugs. I guess, but bugs with bombs on them? Uh, probably not the bomb part, but at least it's not quite as bad, right? And see, really, a, a spider's not a bug. That's yeah, true. The bugs suggest insects. I'm pretty, spiders are arachnids, Monte Cristo. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Tom Catch eats arachnids, too. Perhaps. Perhaps. Either way, now one's a bomb. Though. I think he just proved you wrong, though. Yeah, but he didn't do it because he wanted to. He did it because he felt obligated. <laughs> to save that spider's life. Yep. A tale of one Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack brought to you by Echo. And his mouth guitar. <laughs> All right, time to get the grump. Big soup on that shed. Was 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 mouth guitar the name of your acapella group, though? I would be if I had an acapella <laughs> group, but I actually really don't like acapella music. It's it's one of those things. I I don't necessarily find anything wrong with it. Like I respect acapella mu music, but I just hate listening to it. So no, I would never I would never have an acapella group. Sorry. Well, I understand that uh, it is pretty bad. It's to me, I don't know. Like, like I said, there's nothing wrong with acapella music. You know what? It's just super annoying to me. I think there is something wrong with acapella music. <laughs> it's super annoying. Well, yeah, I mean, and it, also it's responsible for pitch perfect. So, oh, oh, that is a problem. I think it's done yeah. more harm to the world than good. I mean, acapella music is just a bad excuse for not learning a real instrument. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's I agree uh, with you, Doa. That's right. You can quote me on that. <laughs> you can quote me on that, Chobra. I know you love acapella music. Yeah. And if you still watch League of Legends, Chobra. I'm not sure if you do or not. Doa called you worse than a drum machine. That's, that's right. <laughs> if you beatbox, you're just you're just a bad drum machine. Learn to play real drums, not just your mouth. Everyone's got a mouth. You're worse, than, you're worse than a machine <laughs> that makes drop loops. That's right. At least the machine can keep going until the battery runs out. Yeah, How long and also has last? better time than you. That's right. So there. Take that, Will Chobra. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll end... Uh, and whoever that was that did the theme song for the Carmen San Diego show on PBS back in the 90s. I think it was Rockapella. Rockapella, that's right. <laughs> Take that, Rockapella. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Rockapella. I don't know. And, and Carmen San Diego. Well, we never found her. But I mean, I think a lot of people. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I, I'm just still reeling from the fact that you willingly rhymed on a broadcast. <laughs> You've been spending way too much time with me over the years, man. I, I we only got Monte Cristo I, rhyming I, now. I only I only rhyme when I quote rap lyrics, Doa. I just that can't. was a rap lyric, really? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Who, who's rapped that? Who's rapped that? Doa, I can't actually say <laughs> the the rap lyric because it is inappropriate for broadcast. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's a good excuse, I guess. I had to modify it there. <laughs> See, I feel like. Acapella, you know, is not cool, but rapping is acceptable. 
ground going in onto Mickey. Uh, but back to my point on acapella rap. See, rap is not trying to be an instrument. It's just using your voice to make music. If you actually think about rap, it's hilarious. Why is that? Because it's it became known as this incredibly badass form of music when it's basically just talking really fast about friends. Yeah, but it wasn't about that originally. <laughs> so it's kind of become. It's all about like guns and being rich now. But uh, before, I feel like it's cooler. All right, there are lots of rappers that don't do that out. That is obviously. true. That is true. But but acapella still sucks. And that's what's important about this conversation. <laughs> Gold card onto Kuve. Crown with the impressive double kill. Well, as impressive as Miles and Hard double kills get, let's put it that way. Well, I mean, they're fun to watch. And, well, sort of. Are they fun to watch? Uh, sort of. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like, ah, oh, that guy got too close to the other guy. So he's going to take damage, too. You know how po tilted Papa and I get when, like, a Malzahar player gets MVP of a game? <laughs> we get really mad about that. I can't blame you. Because, like, you see Malzahar triple kill, and all Malzahar's doing is, like, standing there, like, staring at his void links. And it's it's like, whoa, go, guys. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Malefic Vision's just bouncing around. <laughs> Keep hitting him. It's like a hunter in World of Warcraft. Just watching the pet do the work. Do you, as, ma as do you, you get know. mad when hunters get MVPs in World of Warcraft? Uh, yeah, I do. Mostly I used to get mad when they would pull entire rooms of mobs up there because they can't control their pet. doesn't happen as much anymore, but we're all still emotionally damaged by that, those of us who played it for a long time. Whip crack. Not, that's not the sound a card makes when it hits something. It isn't? Uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure it's not. It's the sound of a whip crack. <laughs> really, maybe it's the sound of the card slapping as he takes them out of the deck. Maybe. Except it is when they hit something, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. It, it really... Uh, it hits them broadside. It, it would be, <laughs> yeah, just like slaps them <laughs> in the face. Slap. Slap cards. <laughs> cards are kind of a... Garbage way to hurt people anyway. Support player. I said Core JJ, the secret weapon. You laughed. And I laughed too because it was supposed to be a joke, but it ended <laughs> up being true. He ended up really being the secret weapon. How about that? Samsung takes the win. Joel. And uh, prophecy what? through joking. There you go. Prophecy through humor. That's, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I like the idea. Could be a pretty cool match. It should be a pretty good, cool match. Well, you know, that's how it goes. You fill time, Greencast is talk. It's a classic. See you on Saturday.